Learning Chinese with the Linguist. Hello and welcome to Laura's channel for learning Chinese. This is a brand new channel. This channel will assist you in overcoming difficulties encountered during your years of learning Chinese. Some people say Chinese is difficult to learn, and some people say Chinese doesn't have grammar. It is not entirely correct. Although Chinese grammars are not as systematic as English grammars, they do exist. I'll explain Chinese grammar to you in this channel and help you understand it from a linguistic standpoint. You will find my channel helpful if you have studied Chinese for years. But are still unsure of how to utilize it in specific context. I'm hoping that once you've sorted out the tricky bit of Chinese, you can speak more native-like. We'll start by discussing the third tone change in Chinese. Many of you should be aware that the first third tone character turns second tone. When followed by another third tone character, most teachers have taught you how to pronounce two third tone words in the section. Look at the example, 老板 The first character, 老 is originally pronounced as the third tone, 老 and 老 is followed by another character, 板 Also with the third tone, the tone of the first character, 老 changes to the second tone, and the whole word is pronounced as 老板本呐，老板 Likewise, the examples, 粉笔老鼠 The same rule is applied to other two character words with two sequential third tones. However, have you ever seen a sequence with more third tone characters? How should they be pronounced? I quickly pronounce the following three character words: 米老鼠李老板薄酒乳，水彩笔。Can you tell which three character words I pronounce different? When trying to pronounce these words in order using the third tone, you could feel lost. However, it can simply explain by dividing them into two categories. Two plus one and one plus two. The pronunciation of two plus one kinds is second, second, third. This kind denotes that the word was formed from the first two characters before the third character was added to create a three-character term. 水彩笔 which means watercolor brush. Is formed from the first two characters, 水彩 which means watercolor, and the last character, 笔 which means brush. The combination of the last two characters, 彩笔 is nonsense. 水彩 is a two-character word and is pronounced as the basic third tone change. Originally, both 水 and 彩 are pronounced with third tone. So, step one, the tone of 水 changes to the second tone, making the sound 水彩 Step two, the third character 笔 follow the first two characters 水彩 to form the three character words 水彩笔 Now, 彩 which is pronounced with the third tone. Is next to another third tone character B. Step three, we apply the basic third tone change rule again, and change 彩 
to second tone, while B remains its original third tone. Thus, the whole three character word is pronounced as Sui Cai Bi. To demonstrate this type of tone, we simplify the expression as the number second, second, third. Other examples of type 2 plus 1, like Bao Jiu Ru, Zhan Lan Guan, can be analyzed in the same way. The pronunciation of one plus two kinds is third, second, third. In this case, the first character was merged with the last two to form a word before the first character was combined with the third to form the three character words. For instance, the word Mi Lao Shu is formed with the first character Mi and the other two characters Lao Shu, which means a mouse. The combination of the first two characters, Mi Lao, is nonsense. Lao Shu is a two character word and is pronounced as the basic third tone change. Originally, Lao and Shu are both pronounced with third tone. Step one, the tone of Lao changes to the second tone making the sound Lao Shu. Step two, the two characters Lao Shu follow the first character Mi to form the three character word Mi Lao Shu. Step three, since Lao has changed to the second tone, the character Mi can remain its original third tone and make the whole word pronounced as Mi Lao Shu. Other examples of type 1 plus 2 like Xiao Liang Ko, which is made with Xiao and Liang Ko, and Hao, Hao Dao Yan, which is made with Hao and Dao Yan, can be analyzed in the same way. Even more certain characters such as Lao Ban Mai Hao Jiu may appear together to form a phrase or a sentence. How would you adjust your tone for those certain characters that are sequential? You must now be experiencing a headache, right? Knowing how to break the language into multiple pieces or groups will make things simpler. As an illustration, we split the phrase into two parts, Lao Ban and Mai Hao Jiu. You now know that the tone of Lao Ban is commonly pronounced as second third, and that the type of Mai Hao Jiu is a one plus two, and that the tone is third second third. As a result, the full phrase is pronounced Second, third, third, second, third. Lao Ban Mai Hao Jiu. The phrase may even be extended. Lao Ban Qing Hao Yu Mai Hao Jiu. There are three elements to this sentence. Again, Lao Ban Qing Hao Yu. Mai Hao Jiu. The tone of the first portion is normally second third, and the type of the second half is the type one plus two, and it is pronounced as third second third. Qing Hao Yu. The third component has the type one plus two, and is also pronounced third second third. Mai Hao Jiu. Thus, the whole sentence is read as Lao Ban Qing Hao Yu Mai Hao Jiu. And the tone of the sentence is Second, third, third, second, third, third, second, third. Here is the summary.
Now it is easier for you to read the whole sentences using the principles, right? Now that you've learned the ideas, you can read whole sentences considerably more quickly, right? Do you think this video will help you learn how to pronounce the third tone? Next issue we are going to talk about is bark sentences. Please expect. If you find this channel helpful, please subscribe and share this video with your friend. If you want to learn more about Chinese syntax, phonetics, phonology, morphology, semantics, or grammatics. I'll create more videos to improve your ability to speak Chinese like a native. I'll upload my videos on Wednesdays. Learning Chinese with a Linguist Thank you for your watching and see you next time.